Hello everybody, it's Current Cartoon TV coming to you with another Steven Universe Future Review. My name is Outlaw and I will be your host today and I'm also joined by Red. How's it going everybody? And then we also have Gundam. What's up guys? So let's go ahead and go into this first part of this two-parter of Mr. Universe. And the synapse of that is Greg takes Steven on the road to find the origins of the universe name. So, Gundam, how about you go ahead and give me your likes of this episode? Well, first off, you already know I love the colors of this episode. The way they were driving down the road, you could see the the lights, the vi vibrant colors on the, the van. And I loved how, like, when they got in the crash, how it went, and it got, like, nighttime, too. Like, time had passed, and you saw all the shadows as well, too. I really loved how they they did that when he, like, wakes up, and uh, well, you could see all the shading of the characters, and it looked really nice. I love the message of this episode because, like, everyone grows up differently, you know, and it can help shape who we are. But, you know, some people look at others' upbringing and they draw different conclusions. But only the person who knows how they felt is the person who went through it, you know, who got to grow up in that situation in that time. And I thought it was a really cool message. I, I like the episode. Maybe not the best episode, but I thought it was fantastic. And how about you, Red? What did you like about this episode? You know, I'm going to have to agree with Gundam here. I really enjoyed the colors. I love the detail of Greg's house, like all the little trinkets that they have, the little spoons, the tiny goats, the potpourri. I love it. That was good. The message, it was good, but it I'll get to it in a bit. But the message kind of made me a little upset and a little angry. But, you know, other than that, didn't have much likes for this one. Got a lot of, a lot of flaws with it. I'm actually going to agree with you both of you guys on here. I did like how we actually get to see where Greg used to live. I like how he had to sneak into his old room. And you see his room all like tattered and like missing of stuff. And I actually did like seeing a picture of young Greg. It may have been hanging on the wall, but it was actually young Greg. And he does look a lot like Steven at a young age. I kind of like knowing how Greg used to live, like how he was actually raised up. His parents always were like having him do things that he might have not liked, but at least his parents did probably love him. But the only other thing I really do like about this is actually Steven actually getting mad at his dad at the near the end of the episode. Like Steven is like, hey, I have never seen a doctor till three days ago. I'd never been to school. So, and you're just pretty much like my mother that ran away from his problems and never looked back. I grew up with actual freedom. I grew up in a van. I never went to school. I'd never been to the doctor until two days ago. Yeah, absolutely true. So I did like how Steven finally got mad at him. And this episode really relates to young adults that don't want to do anything with their parents or what their parents want them to be. So let's go ahead and go to our dislikes. Uh, Gundam, what did you not like about this episode? Well, I liked seeing Greg's origin, you know, being able to go back, but I kind of thought the origin of the name was a little lackluster. I mean, I know, I understand that he's all about music and, and stuff like that, but I was hoping that maybe Rose may have brought it up to him, possibly to, you know, when she said she's from the universe or she, she you know, and she, maybe she called him that or something. But from a song, it's like, okay, you know, that's fine. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like uh, Star Wars with the Han Solo. It's like, oh, what's your last name? Uh, solo. What? Yeah, exactly. It, it just fell flat. I could go into detail some more about what's wrong with this episode and it just did not, to me, live up to the quality of the other episodes that this series has brought to the table. And, but the main thing is I just did not like the way that he, that his origin was described in this episode. I, I really kind of hurt Greg's character in my opinion, but that's just me. And how about you, Red? What did you not like about this episode? You know, I don't really like Greg's parenting style. It, it kind of made me mad because we're, we're seeing how Greg grew up. He grew up in an extremely strict environment. But when he grew up and had, had Steven, he went 100% the opposite direction where he was too lackadaisical, too carefree, too much freedom. There needs to be a good balance with parenting. He's not your friend, he's your parent. There is a difference. And there's been studies like that where you can't have, it's either too authoritative or authoritarian or something like that, but you can't have, you can't lean to one side or the other. It, it creates a whole mess of problems, which we've seen now. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, very much so. I also didn't like how they kind of glaze over the fact that, you know, Greg had a family. Steven has grandparents. We're just briefly now touching it. 
in season six, we're finally finding out that he has grandparents and Greg decided to keep him away from all that. Steven, you don't know what they were like. They can't be worse than mom's family. I went halfway across the galaxy for them and this was right here? Because Greg doesn't want to talk about his problems with his parents, who he is now an adult. He should actually be able to talk with his parents face to face and let them know how he treated them and how he grew up. I was a little upset with this. Like, I'm like, Greg, come on. Everything can't be this happy and cheerful all the time. There needs to be a balance. Exactly, because like you said, as soon as he got to be of age, he should have been able to just talk to his parents, knowing that his parents couldn't legally do anything to force anything on him, you know, once he was um, an own, his own adult. And the fact that he took Steven and just gave him complete freedom, kind of just like, you, like you said, there's got to be some sort of rules. Yeah, so. Well, what I didn't like about this is actually, I'm not a big fan of that song that uh, Greg played. Uh, I'm not either. Mr. Universe. I'm like, what? This is how you became Mr. Universe from a song? And I'm pretty much at the same mindset as Steven. It's like, why? Why? Pretty much. And also, I'm not a big fan of the uh, fact that when Steve went through the house and all that, he found all those letters from his dad to the parents, and they weren't unopened. Like, it seems that his par uh, Greg's parents didn't want anything to do with him, and that may be why Greg shuttered himself out, but still, it was like, wow. Yeah, they're, they're both kind of acting immaturely towards each other, and I get that you sometimes you can't have that perfect family relationship, but you at least have to try. And I'm seeing Greg is trying with the letters, but he's not really like heavily trying to get back with him. He's just kind of casually like, oh, I'll send a letter, I guess, in like 10 years. Uh, yeah, like uh, Steven said that he had to go across the universe to see his mom's side of the family, where his dad's side of the family was just a stayed over. And I actually didn't like actually not knowing what the parents look like. I was actually hoping that like at near the end of the episode, the parents will walk in and they will see both Greg and Steven there in the house. So let's go ahead into our favorite scenes. Gundam, what was your favorite scene? My favorite scene probably is Steven just going through the, the house and seeing all the knickknacks and stuff because I liked how, again, how the shading was. It really looked like you were in like a house that was lived in, but no one was there and it really actually brought that vibe of that cozy you know homey vibe that i really was portrayed very very well and that was pretty much it actually red what was your favorite scene i'm gonna have to agree with gundam i mean the details of the house were cool but this is this is even saying that it was my favorite scene it's pretty light well, well my favorite scene was actually them actually driving to greg's parents place and you actually hear the old song dear old dad playing on their radio dear old dad remember when you would sing to me do it again dear old dad remember how that actually brings back a lot of memories from the first and second season of steven universe and it was actually nice to actually hear that music again but again a stretch on my favorite scene here mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and in our ratings here gundam i would have to give it a three out of five um not the best episode in any stretch of the imagination but i think that it held up a little bit more than other episodes in the past so three out of five how about you red what do you give this i'm gonna say again three out of five it wasn't the best it granted it needed to happen but not my favorite i'm also going to agree with you guys it's a three out of five for me it was okay it had a lot of uh meaning to it but it's this another cringe episode that you <laughs> had to go through so let's go ahead into our next episode of fragment and the synapse of this episode is steven heads to the woods to train with a powerful mentor so, Red, how about you give me your likes of this episode? Um, I'm actually going to steal this part. I really like the colors. I like the galaxy-esque sky. I like the mountain terrain. Um, so that was really pretty. Very detailed. Always very detail-oriented. I, I, it was weird, but I enjoyed watching Steven train and his weird little growth spurt in only three days. And he's got, like, yeah. the puberty stash going on. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, the best scene is definitely the fight scene. That was so well done. It was very Dragon Ball-esque, like Dragon Ball Z-esque to it, especially with like the pink streak behind him and just like the constant punching. So that was pretty cool. I think they finally got down how to do fights in this. Like They've, they've already got it to a science now. Mm -hmm. um, I also, um, it was interesting to see 
how intense and how powerful Steven can be when he's not holding back. But he, it also reminded me of like a dark Superman kind of feel. Like he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. And then he just flips on a dime and just like, nope, I'm done with this. My emotions have had it. And he just explodes. So that's what I liked about this episode. And how about you, Gundam? What did you like about this episode? Well, as you already know, I absolutely love the colors of this episode. The vibrance from beginning to end. The forest, the night, the rain at the end. The per perfection. Absolute perfection. And seeing Steven really, you know, just go all out and see what it's like to channel all his rage and energy into something he can actually, you know, try to control and and use it for, you know, to, to battle and to have it where he can pull it up as at will. And I thought that was really, really, really awesome. I love the, the, the montages and how the um the gems actually did try to talk to him at least you know they were like they're all there finally for some reason they're just gone in every other episode but they're finally they're back and they really want to talk to him and i i am very glad that they they brought that in because they should want to talk to him after all this stuff is going on especially pearl um but I, that's what i loved about the episode the the interactions with the characters and love those colors and what i liked about this episode was pretty much the fight scene between jasper and steven and then i did like also like how steven changes into his more mature look with the stubs the hair too like the big pompadour coming up and that's pretty much all i only liked about this episode <laughs> wow so let's go ahead and go to our dislikes uh red do you have any dislikes i do um it was better than the last episode so that's better but of course i don't like how he shattered jasper you know i'm, I'm glad he didn't kill her but after he healed her she bowed before him when he's been wanting her friendship she got her almost loyalty as a soldier I really don't like it. I don't like how Steven, what Steven's becoming. It's it's so tricky to talk about your emotions without exploding like he did when Pearl and Garnet and Amethyst were all trying to talk to him at once. That's a little overwhelming. I get that. It's just, it's not, none of this is healthy. <laughs> and it's, it's so cringy. Like these, mm. these last few episodes are, are really deep. This is some good yes. stuff, but yeah, that's what I didn't like about it. And how about you Gundam? What did you not like about this episode? So the problems I have with this episode are, well, I, I have to agree with Red. It's, there's just so much you can do wrong. Doing a scene like that where, you know, he, when Steven shatters Jasper and like, I don't like what Steven's become as a character. He's got his therapy in the last episode, but it's like, it seems like he's really not learning what these people are telling him or what he really needs to get these things situated and under control. Yeah, absolutely. So I just... Did not like it. I did not like that aspect of the episode. And I'm pretty much gonna agree with you guys. What I did not like about this was actually Steven actually running away from his problems. It seems like he does that every episode. Yeah, uh, even when the gyms were actually there offering to help and like, hey, just need to talk to us. But then I also didn't like the fact that the gyms were not giving Steven some space. They were all like closing in on him. Like, hey, we need to talk, we need to talk, we need to talk. It's like, guys, I'm not, all three U gems need to be on me at once here. Maybe it should have been kind of like rotated in because it was making Steven panic more and more. And that's when he activated his powers to run away. I also did not like the fact that Jasper was actually teaching Steven how to use his anger, not to control it. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming though because Jasper has never been one to go with the flow or easily a change of heart. So I get that. That's, that's something that's coming from her. That's typical kind of. It's true because uh, if you look at the her, if you look at Jasper's previous fights in the series, it's always been that is why she's lost too. Uh, right, but I would think Stephen would know a little bit better. But right now, in his like state of mind right now, he's taking anything as therapy, pretty much. Yeah, and what's weird is that from this these whole sixteen episodes, almost every single episode, someone has been telling him to talk to them, to express yourself, and he still isn't trying he's not even trying and i did not like the fact that a jasper was actually shattered and b steven was actually able to repair her because until this point we figured that shattering means the gem is dead it's gone it cannot be re brought back but all of a sudden steven just dunks her into a tub with all these different diamonds uh water and all of a sudden jasper magically comes back it's like wait i thought 
shattering was like a death sentence. Like you shatter somebody, they'll never come back. I I actually do have to agree about that too because I think this should have been a moment where Steven should have really learned by, you know, that his power can hurt someone. Even Amethyst says that in the beginning of the episode, like you can, you know, someone can get hurt. At least I think it was Amethyst who said it. Um, and this happened, someone did get hurt. And he should really have known that there was no coming back from that. And I did not like the fact that at the end of the episode, Jasper bowing to Steven, showing that she submits to Steven as the, her new diamond. It's like, ooh, that is not the direction that Steven wanted to go. Like you said, Red, the, uh, Steven wanted more of a friendship, not a loyal soldier. So let's go ahead into our favorite scenes, uh, Red. Favorite uh, definitely scene. the fight scene. That was probably the highlight of this entire episode. The animation was cool. The fight tactics were awesome. Very, the intensity of it. Steven's change of like actual, like physical, like his physical changes. That was my favorite scene. Gundam. Uh, the training montage. Um, I loved it. I thought it was like a whole, like a Rocky Balboa <laughs> collection of, of fighting and getting fit. And, and even Steven updating his form, you know, to fit himself you know <laughs> and it was really nice i thought they did a really good job on that that's why i was kind of hoping that, like when i saw that i was like this episode is going in a good better direction you know he's actually like you know doing something that's gonna be like bettering himself possibly but then well we already know what happens at the end i honestly only liked the fight scene pretty much this whole show it was like that was about it i really didn't like what the direction steven went into so let's go ahead and go into our ratings here Red, how about you give me your rating? You know, I'm really torn between a three and a four. We can't do halves. You know, I'm gonna say this a three out of five. The fight scene was a really good redemption, but I don't think it was enough to save it. Like, it was, again, well done. It needed to happen, but it's just frustrating to see Steven go through this and not learning. <laughs> how about you, Gundam? What do you give this? I was torn between a three and a four. I think just based on everything in this episode, I'm I'm leaning towards a four than a, than a three, only because uh, the fight scene was that good, and I want to see more of that. If if, if it had the, if it didn't have the fight scene, three all around, but that fight scene just edged it out for me. And I was pretty much torn with you guys on a three or a four, but I am leaning more towards the four. Even with all my dislikes of this episode, it was still a good episode to watch. So guys, thank you for listening to us in our review of Steven Universe Future. And don't forget guys to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out our links in the description. We have our Facebook, our Twitter, our Patreon, and our website, www.currentcartoontv.com. And Red, you have some links down there as well. Yeah, I have a Facebook page at Perfectly Red Cosplay, and I'm also on Instagram at Perfectly Red. And until next time, guys, good night. See you guys. Bye, thank you.